In this video, we will explain how to attach an external analog to digital or AD converter to a Raspberry Pi microcontroller. And furthermore, we will explain how to use such an AD converter to perform temperature measurements. We are using a low-cost MCP3008 AD converter and we are using a low-cost temperature sensor TMP36 which is usually provided with a basic Arduino starter kit. The first question that needs to be answered is why do we need analog to digital converters? Well, in many mechatronics applications we need to read data from various sensor types such as distance, temperature and pressure sensors. These data are often given in the form of analog voltage signals. In order to process this data using Raspberry Pi microcontrollers, the analog signals need to be converted into digital signals. Electronic devices used to convert analog to digital signals are referred to as analog to digital or AD converters. However, Raspberry Pi devices are not produced with AD converters. Consequently, additional circuitry and devices needs to be coupled with Raspberry Pi devices in order to read analog signals. Later in this video, I will provide a detailed explanation how to attach an AD converter to a Raspberry Pi microcontroller and how to attach a low-cost temperature sensor to the uh, AD converter. But for the time being, let us perform a simple experiment. So here is the main screen of my Raspberry Pi microcontroller. You can observe three columns, row data, voltage and temperature. The first column, row data, is the data provided by the AD converter. The second column is the voltage, which is calculated on the basis of the row data. And the third column is basically the temperature, which is calculated on the basis of voltage and the temperature sensor calibration curve. Due to the fact that it's summertime and that air conditioner is working, the measured temperature is around 20 degrees. Notice that this 20 degrees corresponds to 0 0.7 volts. In order to verify that AD converter is working properly, we have attached an oscilloscope to the temperature sensors. So the oscilloscope is showing that the voltage on the signal pin of the temperature sensor is around 0 0.7 volts, which corresponds to our readings provided by the AD converter. We can perform a simple experiment to test the temperature sensor and the AD converter. So if we touch the temperature sensor, the observed temperature should increase. And when we release the sensor, the temperature of the sensor should decrease. So let us see what happens with the sensor voltage when we press the sensor with our fingers. Now I'm pressing the sensor with my fingers. Consequently, the voltage and the temperature increase. I'm still pressing the sensor. Now I'm releasing the sensor. And you can observe how the how the voltage that is the temperature decreases. Here is the same experiment. However, this time the voltage is read by the AD converter. I'm pressing the sensor now. Consequently, the voltage and the temperature are increasing. I'm still pressing the sensor. I'm not pressing the sensor. Consequently, the temperature and voltage are decreasing. So basically this is a proof of concept that 
and the test that AD conversion is working and the temperature sensor is working. Furthermore, you can basically take an external uh, temperature sensor and you can verify the readings. However, uh, I will not do this uh, at this moment. The next step is, of course, to filter the temperature data, but we will talk about that in our next videos. In the sequel, I will provide a detailed explanation how to attach the AD converter and the temperature sensor to the Raspberry Pi microcontroller. More details can be found on my website and I have, a ma I have made a nice post about this whole experiment. Finally, this is a C or C++ code we use to perform AD conversion. Notice that we are using a wiring pi library. I will explain this code later. So this is the wiring diagram of the device. This is the MCP3008 AD converter and this is the cobbler. The AD converter has 16 pins. It has 8 analog input pins and it has 8 pins that are used to establish the connection with the Raspberry Pi. We will attach a temperature sensor to the analog input 0. So basically, we use a temperature sensor to demonstrate AD conversion. So we use TMP36GZ temperature sensor. Its main characteristic is that it has a linear temperature voltage relation. So basically, the sensor has three pins. It has a power pin, it has a signal pin, which we attach to uh, channel zero of MCP3008 AD converter, and it has a ground. Also, we should provide a bypass capacitor between the power and ground to stabilize the measurement. In order to convert the data read by the AD converter into the temperature, we need to use the following two equations. The first equation converts the data read by the AD converter into the voltage, and the second equation converts the voltage into the temperature. Notice that this is a linear equation. This equation is linear due to the fact that the sensor calibration curve is linear, and it looks like this. Here's the voltage and here's the temperature and the calibration curve has the following form. So this is a C or C++ code used to convert the data read by the AD converter into the temperature. Lines 12 and 13 are used to set up the pins of the AD converter. Line 17 is used to read the data and lines 18 and 19 are used to convert the raw data into the temperature. 